Thank you for joining us again. This is News Now. I am Frank Komalape. We are reaching you live from our cities here in Lagos. And now more Nigerians have called on government agencies at various levels to enforce the child rights laws in ensuring the protection of children, especially in Lagos State. Some NGOs in the state said the way to curb abuse of children is constant enlightenment of children and members of the public. Our correspondent, Iwoji Koria, has details. Of 10 children in Nigeria experience emotional, physical, or sexual abuse before the age of 18, with half experiencing physical violence and child labor. While condemning these acts against children and activists fighting for the enforcement of the Child Rights Act and protection of children, Abosidu Tukwe said the way out to go is constant enlightenment of children on what constitutes their rights. I remember way back 2016 with the Office of Public Defender under the Ministry of Justice, which is Lagos State, and uh, through the help of uh, UNICEF, we have been able to release children from, this, from, from prison, from correctional centers, and from, um, from adult prison too. It was, and the program, in fact, it was almost like two years that, run out that we, we did the program. And uh, there has been a, uh, an awesome thing working with children on the street. Enlightenment, educating the children, knowing who they can call, even if they are abused, is paramount, is key. So, um, Child Protection Network, our motto is prevent and respond. This is how we prevent abuse, you know. To so these advocates on the rights of children, the level of violation is on the increase. We, the, the protocol to absolve a, an abandoned child is so much. If they can read this for us, such as that they can be prompt, they can, they can give us prompt rescue facility. It will be so okay. It's there, but it's not enough. Working on achieving a society that can be free from rape and any other assault of children, women, and adults. So that children and everyone can live a life with a secured well-being. So that they can live a life that they know that as an African child, they have the right to live a better life. A 60 years old man that raped 12 years old child, that is a girl. So which we have already prosecuted. And presently as I'm talking to you now, those people are in prison custody and the case is still on. Because of raping the underage children. Though the world's African Child's Day has come and gone, this group of human rights advocates believe that child protection in Nigeria needs more attention. I, Boji Horia, reporting for Iran TV News.